award as well. Um, but those are not the things I want to talk about. Carlos is well recognized and, and, and I believe many people in the room know him. What I want to describe is the force that he is and the effect that he's had on our department at the University of Iowa. So um, Carlos started his program MTBI, which was a summer program at Cornell. I think, is it in the late 90s, Carlos? 96. Yeah, 96. And if I understand correctly, and this sounds like myths or legends, but I believe it to be completely true because I've heard it from so many of his students who have gone through this program. What he did, he was a distinguished professor at Cornell, a very fine research mathematician, and he decided to set up a summer program for mostly at that time Latino students. And what he did was he rented a fraternity house for the summer in Cornell University. He hired a chef and he lived with the students. I mean, now that kind of commitment you almost never see. And as it were, by just force of personality and spiritual force, he took this initial bunch of students, almost all of them succeeded. They went on through graduate school, they got their PhDs. Many of them, I see Erica Camacho, many of them are in this room tonight, having finished their PhD and are now professors. A large part of our Alliance faculty comes from Carlos's original program, which is just unbelievable, actually. Then, we of course, in about 1995, when actually this was all going on, and the University of Iowa, um, just as in, improbably in some sense, um, decided that we would like to start a minority program. And uh, we really had no idea what we were doing. I'm sure we would have failed. There's no doubt in my mind we had the good spirit, but we were extremely what African Americans call ignorant and uh, naive. And so when, uh, when we started to do this and we had no students and no place to get students, Carlos knew a guy in our department named Herb Hethcote, and Carlos started to send us students. Now, if you know Carlos, you know that Carlos doesn't take risk with his students. And so he had some strong feeling that things were going to work out. And according to our best figures, we've now had 10 of Carlos's students. We have about 16 minority students or so um, gotten their PhDs um, as of last year. I think we're going to have another eight this year, believe it or not. And of those students, we have 10 of those students came from Carlos's program. They almost all succeeded. They changed us. They transformed us. And uh, um, there's another five that have, will be finishing up in the next couple of years. So from my own personal life, I've been deeply influenced by Carlos. Um, then, of course, with the Alliance growing, Carlos was kind enough to become part of it, um, and he shaped everything about it. That's why we're here in Arizona. So I don't want to go on and on about Carlos because you know him, but I did want to express my appreciation and gratitude for everything that he's done for my program and also for all of the rest of us. And with for no further ado, I give you Carlos Castillo.